This is Twit. Oh my goodness. Uh, so I have a question. Is currently the sweet spot for RTX uh, older games that are being made to look more fabulous than they ever have before? And I bring that up because uh, I just downloaded it this morning. Quay 2 RTX has been released and the first three levels are free. Cue the first taste is always free joke. Uh, um, are you excited about this one? Um, I am, and I think you're right. That you're talking about the sweet spot. Instead of showing a before and after where it's the best that a, a studio can come up with in like 2017 to 2019 graphics, and then uh -huh. say, but if you turn RTX on, it's a little bit better, especially in reflections and and certain types of lighting and things. And then you kind of stare at the before and after and decide, is this really worth investing in a new graphics card to do the all to, to do this but when you look at an old game that everybody remembers and you know how it looks and you can look at the before and after shots too and it's like right. just night and day where before it looked very flat and they did what they could carmack was an amazing is an amazing developer but there's only so much you could do within the technology of the time and to come right. back and we've, we've seen quake 2 projects that incorporate path tracing for at least, I think, 10 years now. Right. And there was the one unpronounceable project in January that was being shown right around CES time, I think, where it was Vulcan path tracing using an old Quake 2 uh, engine update that ran on OpenGL and incorporated the full path mm -hmm. tracing. And that game was available for free. It was like an open source project using the original shareware levels. So that's it's really cool that NVIDIA kind of getting behind this and it turning into one of NVIDIA's studios, which I think is their Lightspeed studio, if I have the name right, coming right. out with this and giving away those initial, those original shareware levels. And if you want to buy the whole game, it's only five bucks on Steam. And it looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, yeah, it looks a little blocky, but this is a game from 1997. <laughs> but the light, I think it, it really does make a pretty compelling case for, look, even with these old graphics, Look at uh, look at what ray tracing can do. Look how much more amazing and immersive this game looks with ray tracing. And right. I have not tested this myself. Uh, one of the staff members, uh, I sent him an RTX card. He's going to be checking this out, writing up a story about it. But you know, you don't have to have an RTX card because, of course, RTX features were unlocked on GTX cards. Although. Some of the th looking on Twitter, uh, Kyle, formerly of Hard, Hard OCP, was on Twitter today talking about he has a 2080 Ti overclocked, right? And at 4K, he was getting about 25, 30 frames a second. So, ooh, it's pretty demanding to run real time <laughs> ray tracing even on a 1997 shooter. Did I say so. sweet spot? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, not at 4K. Was that at, was that at 4? Okay, 4K. So yeah, 1080p it, yeah, is probably I mean, 1080p, more... you could probably hit 60 frames a second consistently, but you know, you're pushing it with 4K. You're pushing it probably even at 1440p, but we shall see. Oh my goodness, that's uh, yeah, 4K is hard. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> 